because the defending champions have got four of the very, very best. Tamari Davis, TT Terry, Gabby Thomas, a brilliant, brilliant medal for her in the 200, and Shakari Richardson. American athletes Shakari Richardson and Gabby Thomas were undeniably two of the strongest sprinters of their generation, at least in their respective events. And they both proved that in Budapest to everyone's delight, except for their competitors, of course. In light of that, Richardson and Thomas did something that shocked the world in the 4x100 meter at the World Championships held in Budapest. Even before that, Richardson and Thomas had been making their mark in other races and had been collecting medals for Team USA. In fact, Shakari Richardson took home the 100-meter gold in her debut at Track and Field's World Athletics Championships in Budapest, Hungary. Richardson's blazing time of a 10.65 second run came from the outside in lane 9. The time was a world championship record and personal best for the 23-year-old. Notably, Richardson took .02 seconds off the previous best set by Shelly Ann Fraser Price last year. As you all know, the world record of 10.49 by Florence Griffiths Joyner remains unbroken for three and a half decades now. Although Richardson wasn't able to break that record, at least this time, she is now tied for the title of fifth fastest woman over 100 meters in history. In addition to that, Richardson's remarkable run was an unprecedented performance, as no one has ever won the title after making a final based on time instead of auto qualifying. What's more, Richardson is the first American 100-meter world champion in six years. Before Richardson, the late Tory Bowie was the last U.S. sprinter to bring home the 100-meter gold from the Worlds in 2017. That win was also a stunning upset of dominant Jamaican sprinters Sharika Jackson and Shelly Ann Fraser Price, who finished second and third. I'm honored, I'm blessed, I had great competition, pulled the best out of me, and I'm just honored to leave with a gold medal she told reporters after the race before adding, I'm going to stay humble, she said. I'm not back, I'm better, and I'll continue to be better. Richardson's appearance in the 100-meter final was also a dramatic accomplishment, as she finished third in her semifinal heat, failing to grab one of two automatic spots to compete for the title. Richardson broke slowly out of the blocks and veered slightly to the right in her opening steps, costing herself time. But she closed well, and her 10.84 time in the semis was the best of anyone not in the top two, earning her a spot in the final. Richardson then competed again at the women's 200 meter a few days later, and earned the bronze after clocking 21.92. Her compatriot Gabby Thomas, on the other hand, finished just ahead of her in 21.81. Going into the Worlds, Gabby Thomas was the quickest in the world this year with 21.60 to win the U.S. trials in July, which made her the fourth fastest woman in history. However, it was Sharika Jackson of Jamaica who took control of the race early, winning by a landslide in 21.41. Still, Thomas's win is noteworthy. For her, she was delighted to be on the podium after coming back from an injury hit 2022. That is an amazing feeling. I learned a lot from last season and we did everything really well this year. I showed up to the line and was fit and healthy and was in the right mental space. I'm really excited to get back to training and work on it next year. Notably, this is Thomas's third global medal. At the Tokyo Olympics, she earned bronze in the 200 meters and was a member of Team USA's silver medal winning 4x100 meter relay squad. Suffice it to say that Team USA was on a roll in Budapest. In fact, Richardson is the first American woman since Carmelita Jeter in 2011 to win medals in both individual sprint events at the World Championships. I'm grateful to actually be here, my first World Championships, and to leave here with not one but two medals. She reflected, I saw someone say I'm the first American woman since 2011 to leave here with medals in the 1 and 200 meter, so I'm happy to bring that back home. What she didn't know at the time was that she wouldn't just come home with two medals. Yes, you heard that right. She and Thomas may not have participated in the preliminary rounds of the 4x100 meter relay, but they entered in the relay pool, meaning they are eligible to run a leg if selected, which they were. And the American duo didn't disappoint. 
In the end, the women's 4x100 meter at the World Athletics Championships Budapest 23 came down to a battle between the newly crowned world champion in the 100 meter, Shakari Richardson, and the two-time world 200 meter champion, Sharika Jackson. It was a close fight, so to speak, as Team USA and Jamaican athletes sprinted to the next person and eventually to the finish line. Despite going against Jamaican legends Fraser Price and Jackson, Team USA wasn't deterred. Youngster Tamari Davis, the 20-year-old who finished third at the U.S. Championships in the 100 and qualified for the final in that event here, showed she isn't afraid of the big stage with her leadoff leg. T.T. Terry, who anchored the gold medal winning team last year, was the second leg alongside Jamaican legend Shelly Ann Fraser Price. Terry handed off to 200 silver medalist Gabby Thomas, who gave Richardson the lead that she never relinquished to Jackson. Basically, Thomas and Richardson, who had just competed against each other in the 200 meter, worked really well as a team. Gabby Thomas closed the lead on Jamaica with a great third leg, and Shakari Richardson finished it off for Team USA to seal the win. As you may have already guessed, Shakari Richardson ran the anchor leg for the United States in the women's relay and sailed ahead of Jamaica's Sharika Jackson as Team USA posted a championship record time of 41.03 seconds. It is worth noting that this is Team USA's ninth world championship in the 4x100 and the country's second straight after winning at Eugene last year. It is also just the third time that both the United States men's and women's 4x100 meter relay teams have taken gold in the same year. Yes, both the men's and women's relay teams of American athletes won gold in the 4x100 meter relay in Budapest. This is the first time since 2007 the U.S. has pulled off a 4x100 double in the World Championships or Summer Olympics. The Team USA men's team wasn't just about to be outclassed by their counterparts. The men were favorites on paper, especially since they had the last three World 100 gold medalists. Leadoff Christian Coleman won in 2019, second leg Fred Curley won in 2022, and Lyles won earlier in the week. The third leg was Brandon Carnes, who was fourth in the 100 at the U.S. Championships last month. Although the handoffs were not clean, it didn't matter in the end as Coleman ran up on Curley and Curley ran up on Carnes. The US, Jamaica, Italy, and Great Britain were all quite close when Lyles got the baton, and he used the 200 speed that has garnered him three straight world championships in that event to pull away from the pack. Overall, it was a remarkable win for Team USA. Besides the win for both teams in the 4x100-meter relay, Noah Lyles won his third gold medal of the meet. While it allowed Richardson to claim her second gold in Budapest, although she'd be going home with three medals in total, including her bronze in the 200-meter. All the heavy hitters were going to bring their A-game, so it helped me to pull out my best A-game as well. Richardson later shared, I'm next to living legends. It feels remarkable. Speaking of which, watch this to see just how remarkable Noah Lyles was in Budapest. 